Rick, you gotta come up and jam. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. I'll record. There you go. This is my friend, Rick. This is uh this is Justin, this is Mark. Woo! I pissed my pants in Los Angeles too, Omar. It's weird. I'm gonna read uh, my what I like to call my Los Angeles poetry tonight, which is very weird that that's what brought up. Where'd you piss your pants in Los Angeles? All over the place, dude. I just piss my pants everywhere in Los Angeles. Pants pissing. 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 Fear my lips, break my fingertips, recall my childhood hopes. Oh my, my funny little things from the past. Burn my sight with a silly sun, so I remember this afternoon at the Saddle Ranch. Woo! So weird you said that. Breathe my lungs, beat my heart, cry my tears. Ticket my train for an hour and ten. Love, love and death my mind all the time. Bust my dreams all the while selling lemonade to a girl called by her parents before they even had her, Suzanne. Tongue my sweat, swill my answers, daddy outlaw my filling fear, pillow my as I lie, king to my life as it were, the years pass an hour ten, can't mind complain. This one's called The Last Time You Tie Your Shoelaces. One morning, you tie your shoelaces, and lo and behold, that afternoon, you fall down dead. That's it. You laced up your sneakers, you laced up your eulogy. <laughs> if anybody who has some money on them wants to buy some badass poetry that books for sale. Woo! This one doesn't have a name. Um, it doesn't do it justice. A name would it just would just ruin it. Anyways, my friend Richard Edmonds read some of my poetry last Wednesday while we were in Venice Beach, and he laughed and he laughed and he laughed. I don't know why. He'd probably laugh at this one too. <laughs> I stole this title from a book called Less Than Zero. Anybody ever read that book? Yeah. yeah. I think I have, yeah. It's a good book. <laughs> Anyways, this one's called Disappear Here. I got some free blow two or three nights ago from my weed dealer. He pulled a baggie of white out of his black pocket and handed it to me and, and saying, here, I can't fuck with this. He is smart, I am stupid. I have a big meeting tomorrow, the only reason I came here in the first place, and I haven't slept in a day or two. This is Los Angeles, and I'm lonely, and I've lost count of how many days I've been here. Said weed dealer is my only friend. Oh, and that Republican girl I met at that restaurant on Sunset. Or did I meet her at the bar in Westwood? Or was it that sushi place in, on Wilshire? Anyways, she bought me beers, and she gave me the weed dealer's number in the first place. For now, I look out at the hotel pool, cut up a couple lines on a CD case. Ironically, it is Led Zeppelin album, live at the BBC. For now, I turn on the stereo and bring a, bring a roll dollar bill to my nose and inhale. All the while, the white powder, making my memories of from yesterday and today be gone, but create new future regrets all the same, like a paradox. And for now, I wish I didn't have that forsaken meeting tomorrow. I change the song on the radio, turn on something happier. Maybe, instead of going to that dead-end meeting tomorrow, 
I'll just go back to Florida. Give it up for these guys. Yeah. That's it. 